All right, this video is uh, for the Space Marine players, uh, or Ultramarine players, so if you're not an Ultramarine player, keep scrolling. No, no, wait. This is a color comparer of blue colors, so if you want to paint your models blue, uh, stay here. So what I did was I took the classic uh, Macrog, I'm probably saying that horribly wrong, Macrog Blue. This is uh, what the local Games Workshop store told me is the ultramarine blue color. If you want to paint ultramarines, you got to use Macrog Blue. I also had some Cantor Blue laying around. I thought, why can't I use that? Well, maybe I can, Tor Blue, use it. Never mind. All right, so here we have our Army Painter contenders. We have Deep Blue. We have Ultramarine Blue. Now, okay, if I'm going to be painting ultramarines, right, which one am I? Am I going to pick the ultramarine? I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So we've got ultramarine blue, we've got a griffin blue here. That's kind of an interesting blue color I found as well. And then we have the viking blue, kind of on the brighter side. We'll see it compared here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to first take the macrog blue and I'm gonna just grab this ultramarine blue from the army painter and say, okay, how close are they? Right, how close are they? Well, they're close. I'm not going to use the word indistinguishable because you can tell the difference, but I don't know. If if you had identical swatches of these and you shuffled them up, I don't know that a human could reliably pick out the Macrog blue or pick out the Ultramarine blue. They are very close. Macrog ever so slightly darker. So there you go. So that's, you know, the idea here. If you want to paint ultramarines, you probably want ultramarine blue if you're going with an Army Painter product. The other thing is uh, the Army Painter product does have that 100% color match primer. That said, I do believe that Citadel has a Macrog blue primer as well. So either of these you're going with, you're getting uh, that primer or, or you can buy a primer that matches it. I was curious with Macrog Blue, since I already had Cantor Blue when I bought it, how close are they? And the answer is Cantor is slightly darker. That one I might be able to pick out of a lineup. It's darker enough. I mean, you get in the right light though and it's hardly distinguishable. So there's your Cantor Blue versus your Macrog Blue. Now, on the Army Painter side here, we've also got this Deep Blue that, again, very, very close. And let's throw in our Ultramarine Blue there as well. That's another, you know, very, very close color. In fact, dare I say the Deep Blue might actually be closer to the Ultramarine, or to the, the Macrog Blue than Ultramarine Blue is. Dare I say that? I, I might say that. I might. You tell me. Would you say that? These three colors are so close. Look at how, like, look at them. That's why we do the color compare. We swatch them up. You never know. You'd never know from the labels, right? That's the big thing is I really like Army Painter's packaging. Their the labels are just, you know, hmm, where'd that deep blue go? They're just, I mean, they're paints, so it's hard to, you know, yeah, that looks pretty close, but it's just hard to put on the label. Let's check out this ultramarine blue compared to the label. You know, pretty close, but again, these two look so close in person and they look very far apart on the label, so I don't know. I don't know. That's why we do the swatching. All right, but I didn't stop there. We've got the Cantor blue, we've got the deep blue. What did we do these two together? I think we did. Yeah, those were really close. But I said, you know, what if you want your ultramarines to stand out, right? Or you're painting something else blue that you want a little bit of a different blue for. So I got out Griffin Blue and Viking Blue. And you can see that Viking Blue, nice bright blue. You've got the Griffin Blue, almost a little grayish blue, but not bad. We take that with our ultramarine and macrog blue. You notice they're a step lighter, step brighter. So if you want your ultramarines to stand out, though, uh, if you go with the Viking blue, they might start looking like Thousand Suns. I don't know. But there you go. There's where we're sitting here. 
So not necessarily close, but two excellent colors of blue. In fact, I really like this Viking blue as like a, oh, like an Orc Death Skulls blue or something like that. I think that would be a great color for that or just anything that you need that blue brightness for. Griffin blue is another contender. I'm still looking for something uh, to be close to the fang. So we're going to see that comparison uh, soon. Coverage notes here. Both the Citadels are base paints, and I did have zero problems with either of them. They both worked pretty well. The uh, deep blue from the Army Painter was a little bit more of a pain than usual to mix, but excellent coverage once you've got it mixed. Ultramarine blue, fine all around. Same with Griffin and Viking blue. Excellent coverage on all those. Just one coat for all these uh, swatch sticks, though if it does require multiple coats, I am giving it to it now, but these were all just one coat, and there we go, done. So, hope this helps you pick a blue for your next project, maybe all screens, maybe not. Hey, let me know what you're painting blue down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you are working on, and if this video helped you pick a color for it. All right, thank you for watching, and take care.